sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, a disease that could make you allergic to meat. My mother has it, so I can personally vouch that it's real. It's also awful. Yeah, you've shared that with me. Yeah. Jennifer Krause is joining us live now with more on this because, Jen, this actually all starts with just a simple tick bite. That's right. And, and Amy, as you said, it is awful. Details of it are crazy, but it is real. It's out there, and it's being spread by an aggressive species of tick. Dean Cecil kept experiencing outbreaks of hives. We finally figured out that it was from eating beef or hamburger. Even more bizarre, Dean's doctor told him the cause of the allergy was a tick bite. I pulled the tick off of me, and it was a light brown tick with a uh, white dot on its back. The Lone Star Tick's most distinctive feature is its star-like white splotch found on adult females. And while other ticks spread germs that cause more widely known diseases like Lyme, a bite from this species can cause a whole range of issues. With these ticks, you have to worry about more than just meat allergies. They can also spread diseases like ehrlichiosis, which, if left untreated, can damage the brain or nervous system, and the heartland virus, which can cause fever, fatigue, and joint pain. Lone Star Ticks used to be found mostly in the southeastern U.S but that's changing. With a warming climate and especially with the growth of local deer populations, many northern states and even parts of Canada are becoming a lot more hospitable to these ticks. And as with other tick species, using an effective insect repellent is one key way of protecting against tick bites. The most effective repellents against mosquitoes and ticks contain 25 to 30 percent DEET as their active ingredient. Based on Consumer Reports latest testing, recommended repellents include Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent Wipes, Ben's Tick and Insect Insect Repellent Wilderness Formula Pump and 3M Ultrathon Insect Repellent 8 all provide, according to Consumer Reports, excellent protection. And something else you can do, Rebecca, is to wear clothing that's been treated with the insecticide permethrin.